I get scared and anxious more often than I would like to admit. Even posting this video right now makes me worry. I think, because of the way I am, I just frequently feel this way in my daily life. Then again, despite the debilitating effect my anxiety has on me, I still miraculously push forward. I overthink, I panic, but more often than not, I do it anyway. This is what I want to show through this project. I'm doing it scared. Over the week that I chronicled my life, I caught many moments of anxiety. From waiting alone in a cafe to doing groceries on my own and consequently trying to film in public. Honestly, I still get nervous about going outside or more specifically being alone outside and looking out of place. I've also had some big events the past week that I was worried about. One being a talk that I had to give and the other applying for jobs. Recently, I made a bold career move. Being in my 20s, moving out in the middle of a pandemic. It's risky to resign, but I did. And of course, I felt really scared about that. But despite the fear and uncertainty, I chose to move on. And that also meant having to make decisions for what came next. In this situation, my anxiety looked like stressing out about every detail of my application and then switching to zombie mode. It looked like having to lie down a lot because as my brain tried to answer application exams, it was also trying to simulate scenarios about my future. I was in front of my laptop a lot too and I didn't even realize how time passed me by as I felt the weight of the rest of my 20s burden my shoulders. Almost every day for the past seven days, there was always one reason to be nervous. These nerves sometimes translated to the lack of energy or dissociation. You were the one who put it there and I'm like, I guess she's gonna use the bottles for something. I saw it because again in Omaga and I was like, what is this? You didn't? I did? I almost pushed and then I pushed it. I also ubus that and I was like, I guess. I don't think I'm I am a mess. I am a mess. I'm not gonna lie. No one wants to be controlled by fear. I certainly don't want to be. That's why every day I find ways to cope and healthily deal with my worries. First, I go on walks with my sister. Thankfully, we live in a place where the church and an open space with nature is just a few blocks away. Every afternoon, whenever we can, we would just go out, take the fresh air in, stretch our legs, light a candle, and say a prayer. Second, I enjoy the moments when I can dress up and take care of myself. Taking a mindful bath, wearing clothes that make me feel good, and then putting on makeup is such a joy, especially when I do it with music. I enjoy the fangirl life. When Suga said in a recent interview that just to be a fan of someone brings joy, he was right. Being ARMY for the past few months has given me simple and plenty of reasons to smile. Watching their videos and collecting their merch makes me feel like a giddy high school girl at times. And it really does a lot to bring my mood up and comfort me. If you figure out why, saan ko ilalagay si Joko at saan ko ilalagay si Joko. We're gonna keep it now. Kamusta mi Daniel? Nakita mo tong vlog. Most importantly, I've been meeting with friends. Being isolated during the beginning of the pandemic and being an ultimate introvert, 
I have often been contented with my own company. However, recently, I've tried reaching out to people again and spending time with them. It helps to have a tribe with whom you can be yourself around and share your honest thoughts to. They've made me feel like I'm not alone in my young adult struggle. They've reminded me of how fun it is to be in my own skin, even when I'm with other people. I guess my way of combating my fears is by having fun. When I have things in my life that bring me joy, I don't feel as anxious. I've also been listening and co-creating with the universe lately. Because of that, my brazen heart believes that better things are coming, and I'm going to be okay too. Sometimes, unseen signs and gut feels like that are enough to get me through. I don't think being scared ever goes away. But I also think that being scared comes from wanting to try and participate in life. Even as a writer, creator, I get scared of putting out content like this. I get scared of submitting to anthologies and composing songs. But I try, and it happens, and the world doesn't end. And when it doesn't, little by little, I am encouraged to try again. More than anything, I'm just really a writer who's doing it scared. Um, people have a misconception that when you're already a published writer, or you're an expert writer speaking in front of different people, you figured out the formula to writing already. But actually, despite um, all the things that was mentioned earlier, I'm still very anxious about a lot of different things with my writing. There is always no guarantee that you would be writing the best thing, right? So the important thing is to do it despite all those fears.